Are you okay? I can't hold on. I'm doomed. What are you holding on to? A barnacle. I'm touching a creature. I've even made a barnacle disc. <laughs> Oh, hey, no fair. I have to start as a barnacle larva? Whoa. Oh, hey, how do I hang on? Oh. <laughs> barnacle head glue, of course. <laughs> glue that oozes from your head. Now that is a solid hold on these rocks. That is cool. You barnacles don't get enough credit. Now, activate plate-making gland. Oh, yeah! With these hard calcium plates, I'll be protected from waves and predators. Martin, you good? Oh, yeah! Now this is intertidal living. Okay, so Martin's latched on over there, but I can't locate Chris yet. Wait, I'm getting a signal. He's over there, farther out. Come on, Nolan, let's go check. Creatures, here we come! I just wanted to say that. Oh, those waves were rough. I think I'm a little seasick. Ah, I lost my shell, my protection. I can't last out here without a shell. The fish, the seagulls. Ah, seagull! But I gotta make a change. Shell, shell, shell. <gasps> there. Oh wait, your limpets. Limpets? Check your discs. Yes, you made one. Oh, well that's a relief. Activate limpet power. <laughs> that's more like it. Definitely a more stable upgrade. But what are you? What's a limpet? Snail family, right, bud? We eat algae off the rocks. See them scrape it up with that rough tongue-like thing? Plenty of algae here in the inner tidal, because there's plenty of sun for it to grow. So limpets and other creatures are the grazers down here. And check out this foot. It's one giant muscle that suctions onto the rock super strongly. So waves are not a problem. I can hang on tight and be mobile when I want to. And the shell protects you from the waves and predators, right? You got it. And by my calculations, if I keep moving at limpet speed, I'll arrive at the finish line in perfect timing. Oh yeah, limpets are gonna power me to a win. Eventually. Hey, Barneys, here comes some more. Catch the plankton if you can. Hey, oh, gotcha! A little zooplankton. Wow, these feathery legs are great for snagging the plankton that gets washed in by the tides. Hey, what'd you get? Ooh, an amphipod. <laughs> nice catch. Now this is what I call free at-home delivery. <laughs> Another great reason to live in the intertidal. That is, if you can handle the waves and... Hey, where's everybody going? Ah, the tide, it's going out. And the sun, it's hot. And I'm a water animal. Oh, it'll dry me up and... Water, water, don't leave me now. So this morning, the water was way up here at high tide. Yeah, and now the tide is going out. It'll keep lowering until it's down pretty close to the finish line mark. So the intertidal creatures are underwater part of the time and out of the water other parts of the time. Yup, I don't know how they do it. How's Martin holding up? Not good. <sighs> I'm drying up out here. Gotta conserve moisture. Wow, barnacles even have a trap door that they can close to keep the water in. Yep, see you when the tide comes back up. Come on, starfish. I'm a tasty barnacle. A starfish favorite. Ha <laughs> ha, yum. Oh, yeah. Aviva finished the starfish power disc just in time. That's right. Come on, buddy. 
Activate starfish power. Whoa! Yes, I'm mobile. Finish line, here I come. Don't worry, buddy. If I ever get out of here, I'll cut you loose before I go. But if I don't find a way out of here soon, Martin's gonna win this challenge. Ah, uh, I need a little luck here. <gasps> yes, something coming my way. Oh no, it's Martin. Hey, Chris, see you at the finish line. Hey, a lobster. Come over here, buddy. Ah, uh, yes, the final stretch to the finish line, and it looks like everyone's come out to cheer me on. Hey, sea urchins, anemones, how you doing? Limpets, thank you. Thanks, mussels. Oh, hey, and another starfish. Great to be you, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Starfish smell receptors are smelling something dangerous. Something fishy is going on. Something starfishy, that is. <gasps> now I recognize you. Y you're a sun star. A starfish eating starfish. Gotta go full speed. Oh no, he's gaining on me. If I can just make it to the finish line. Oh. I'm not giving up. I'll lose a limb before I lose this race. That's it. Starfish can detach arms if they're in danger. And then the arm will grow back later. Detach! 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 Whoa! <laughs> I'm free. Good thing that's a spare arm. Colleen Crab Brothers, it's now officially high tide. First one to the finish line is going to win the star of the intertidal trophy. Ha <laughs> ha, easy. Oh, yeah. I'm even going to win this with one less starfish arm. Speeding to the finish with lobster power! Go, go, go! Hurry faster! Forget the race between the tortoise and the hare. What about the sea star and the lobster? It's going to be close. Sorry, bro. I've got lobster tail flick power. Sorry, back. <laughs> I've got starfish suction arms. Nope. Whoa. Ah, I oh. can't see. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Whoa. I can't Whoa. see. Ow. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh. I won. No, I won. No way. You haven't even finished crossing the line. You left an arm back there. So I beat you by a sucker foot. Oh no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here it is. The cleaning station. That's it? That's the cleaning station? There's nothing there. And what's the little Ramora doodle sticky head doing? He's just waiting for a ride. A remora swims around like that until he finds a new shark to hitch on to. Incoming shark! Oh, and she's a big one! Looks about five and a half meters. That's the largest predatory fish in the ocean, right there. But what is she there for? What gets cleaned at these cleaning station doohickeys anyway? She does. Yeah, check it out. And he's the guy that does the cleaning. Well, him and his buddies. Cleaner fish! Hmm. Oh, and she's pulling into the station. The body position. It's telling the cleaner as, Please clean me! I may be a shark, but I won't bite. Promise. And the fish version of a dentist says, No problem. That's what I do. They're picking parasites from the shark's teeth and mouth. For them, it's food, so it's a good deal. Sharks, rays, and all kinds of fish line up at these cleaning stations. Suckerhead's making his move. He's on! We better get in there. Okay, here we go. Hey, Sharky. Sharky? 
Uh, how about Razor Mouth? Look at those teeth. Yeah. Well, whatever. Sharky, Razor Mouth, just go easy on us, big girl. Just want to find out more about you. Whoa. You can see new rows of teeth coming in behind the old ones. Oh, yeah. Those teeth never stop coming. We only have two sets of teeth, and that's it. Sharks, just keep growing them. Uh, and look, sharks get loose teeth, too. Look, got it. Wow. They're serrated with those super sharp ridges on the edges, just like a saw. Those teeth are serious slicers and dicers. Chris, look out. We're drifting. Oh, no. A current. It's pulling us off course. Yeah, and on course to be her main course. I hope she's not hungry. If she is, we're about to be shark bait. Whoa! Please don't close your mouth. Please don't close your mouth. Uh, woo! Close one. Time to meet this mission head on. Engaging head sucker place. Steady. Steady. We're about to make contact. Three, two, one. Yes! We've landed. The first successful mission onto a great white shark in the history of creature adventuring. Yay, we did it! Mission control to Remora Sub. Well done, guys. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, we're, we're stuck, stuck on, on sharks! sharks. Oh! Looks like they're heading straight out to sea. I wonder where she's going. It says here that scientists have recently discovered that great whites travel long distances to get to different places for food. Me too. The trek from the couch to the fridge wears me out. <laughs> I mean, really far, Jimmy. Sometimes over 19,000 kilometers. That's a quarter of the way around the world. In fact, there may not be as many great white sharks as people think. It might just be the same sharks moving around the world all the time. Well, wherever she takes them, I just hope my Remora sub can hold on long enough to uncover the secrets of the great whites and find out where she's headed. Jimmy, the creatures we're heading down there for are very strange sea creatures that built the coral reef. A creature makes that? I thought it was rocks and stuff. No way. It all comes from an animal, a special animal that hides out during the day. But at night, under the cover of darkness, they come out and they build. Bit by bit, higher and higher the reef rises. So big, it's the largest living structure in the world. But by dawn, when the sun rises, they go back into hiding. Gone! Like they were never here. Okay, uh, are you trying to freak me out? Cause it's working. <laughs> uh, it's exciting, Jimmy. I'll say. I thought we were going down to do a checkup on reef health for the World Reef Science Team. But who are these creatures? And how come no one ever told me about them? What are they called? Polyps. Polyps? Polyps. Polyps. See ya. See ya. Huh. What a funny name. This should be a good spot to find them, Martin. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope we got here in time. Yeah, they should be coming out right about now. Mm. No sign of them yet. So now we wait. <gasps> Look, they're coming out. Oh, -ho! polyps! They're everywhere. Wow, they're beautiful. You mean these colorful things are creatures? They look like flowers. Oh, yeah, they're animals, all right. Every one of them is a creature. And check it out. The hard, rocky part is their skeleton. See, they build a skeleton outside their bodies, and they can hide inside it, protect it, until they're ready to come out. You mean this whole reef is made of the skeletons of these little guys? That's right. Polyp skeleton built on polyp skeleton built on more polyp skeletons for millions of years. And now millions of creatures live here, in and amongst the coral. More different types of sea creatures than any other ocean habitat. Yeah, but we know these reefs are fragile habitats. And if we're going to do our annual reef checkup to make sure it's healthy, we better get to it. OK, let's get in there for a close look, guys. On it! Ah. Uh, 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 close enough? Woo. 
Oh, bro, you just got harpooned. What? Harpooned? You have to zoom in with a microscope to see it. But the polyp shot that tiny needle-like harpoon from his tentacle. That's how they hunt for food. Hey, what are you harpooning me for? I'm not food. Ah, uh, here comes some stuff that's probably tastier than you. Ultra zoom on. That's what they love to eat. Amphipods. See, there are the harpoons ready for launch. Ooh, he did it. He scored some lunch. He reels it in with his harpoon, and the tentacles push the little meal to his mouth right down there in the center. <laughs> wow, I like these little guys. And all this time, I thought coral was just a bunch of rocks. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that coral alone. Those fish are destroying the reef. So that's why the coral reefs are disappearing. Those reef-eating fish. Whoa, not so fast. They're parrotfish, Aviva, and they're not why the reefs are in trouble. Check it out. He's scraping algae off the coral with his hard beak and eating it. And he does kill and even eat some polyps while he's at it. But he's also keeping the algae from taking over and choking out the reef. Hmm, 